Hi, this quick tutorial with Visual Stager, I'm going to show you how to be able to place furniture behind certain objects, such as in this example photo, I have this half kitchen wall and on the other side is where I have already done a scene with a dining room table. And let's place the dining room table. I'll show you what happens. Um, obviously, it just looks super awkward placed right under the light where I like it. Um, right about, that might be a little too far. Let's see, about there to rotate it a little bit. But you can see, obviously, it's just kind of floating around in space here. Um, it just doesn't really belong here. And there's there's um, no ability to kind of cut this off or tuck it, tuck it kind of behind the wall. Um, and so I asked about that and I got some good uh, feedback on how to kind of get around this. And so I'm going to show you using um, another web app called Pixlr. Pixlr. And so there's, um, it's a really quick process. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to download our image. Uh, we're going to download two images. The first one is going to be without our big piece of furniture. Um, so I'm going to save the image just the way it is and I'm going to download it. And it's kitchen three. Um, JPEG. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my dining room table and I'm going to place it right where I want it. And that's actually pretty good. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. That's probably even better. So, okay, I like the way that it sits right under the, the light here. I'm going to go ahead and save it again download the image again and it's going to be uh, copy one kitchen three copy one so okay these these two um, downloads are probably in my download folder so we're going to find them so we're going to minimize um, this we're going to flip over to pixlr.com here's the website up here pixlr.com and we're going to use the web apps so you can click on web apps and this is just really nice because you don't have to register. It's free. It's right online. So we're going to launch the editor web app. Um, this would be in place of Photoshop. If you have Photoshop, you can pretty much use the same function here. It's super simple. So we're going to open up two images. We saved two images, first without the table and then with the table. And we're going to layer them on top of each other. So we're going to open image from computer. We're going to find that in my downloads folder. Kitchen three. There they are. Oh. Why doesn't version one have the dining room table? Let's go back and make sure it's saved. Save this again. We're going to download it again, see if version two has the, that table in it. We're definitely going to need it. There it is. Okay, so we're going to use Kitchen 3 version two. All right, so I'm not worried about that anymore. Let's open the image from the computer. And for Kitchen 3, the first bottom layer is going to be the one without the dining room table. All right, and then before we do anything else, we're going to open the version with the other, with the kitchen table, and it's gonna be the next layer. So we're gonna open image as layer. We're gonna layer these one on top of the other. Let's also kitchen three. There's that floating dining room table, version two. You see it just kind of magically appear there. So this is where um, the magic is going to happen. So we're gonna zoom in quite a bit. And the nice thing, we're basically gonna merge these layers together. Well, maybe merge isn't the right word, but we're going to erase this section here away from the wall. And what's left is going to be 
layer one, which has no dining room table. So essentially it's going to look as if the table is tucked behind the wall. So we're gonna select our large area that we're going to erase. And you could be pretty generous here because all of this underneath is exactly the same. None of this has changed. We wanna be extra careful that we get all this shadowing, um, that nothing's left behind, but I like that this is one nice clean line right here. So we're gonna line up right on the line. There we go, that seems to capture everything. And I'm just gonna move it over a touch. I wonder if I got it close enough. And of course, if you're unsure, you can always zoom in closer. There we go. So again, all your tools are here on the left side. So I'm gonna select the eraser tool. And I'm gonna opt for a pretty large brush. We'll go with brush 61. And then you just start erasing. You can see already how it's picking up the shadow effect. So go ahead and we're just gonna erase inside of our selected piece. It's not really erasing. All it's doing is erasing the top layer and we're left with the bottom layer where none of this really appears. Let's make sure we got it down here. With just a touch of shadow. And a little bit more there. And I think we're all set. So we're gonna deselect it. And there you have it. Kitchen table right where it belongs. There's our final image. Let's make sure you save it before you close out of this uh, web app. I save it quality 100 just so that it's the best quality that it can that it can be, and I'm gonna call it Kitchen 3. Call it B. Okay, it's really that simple. I hope this video was helpful. Take care.